The curtain of silence and the birth of K-218b for countless centuries. Humanity has lifted its gaze toward the endless night sky. Searching, wondering, questioning. Driven by the oldest and most haunting mystery of all. Are we truly alone in this vast universe? Ancient philosophers filled the silence with stories. They imagined gods, spirits, and invisible worlds hidden beyond the stars. Medieval scholars argued fiercely. Was Earth the only sanctuary of life, or merely one among countless others? In the modern age, scientists abandoned myth for mathematics. They counted the stars, measured the planets, and calculated the odds. They looked at the sheer immensity of space and asked, how could life exist only here? And yet, despite the effort, the cosmos gave no reply. Radio telescopes swept across the heavens, listening for whispers. Spacecraft journeyed to the farthest reaches of our solar system. Equations were written, probabilities tested, theories debated endlessly. But the silence endured, unyielding, almost mocking. It was like a curtain stretched across the universe. A curtain we could see, yet never pass through. A curtain that separated our curiosity from the truth. For generation after generation, the same question lingered. Whispered by shepherds beneath the starlight. Spoken in lecture halls by scholars and scientists. Carried in the dreams of poets, explorers, and stargazers. But never, not once, was there a clear, undeniable answer. Until now. Just 120 light years from Earth, orbiting a faint red dwarf star in the constellation of Leo, lies a world unlike any other we have ever studied. A planet extraordinary in its details, yet strangely familiar in its possibilities. A world capable of shaking the very foundations of astronomy, biology, and even philosophy itself. That world is K218b. Through the unmatched precision of the James Webb Space Telescope, humanity may now hold the strongest evidence of alien life ever recorded. Webb's instruments detected faint traces of water vapor drifting high in the atmosphere. Methane molecules gliding among the gases. And carbon compounds, the essential scaffolding upon which life is built. Then came the revelation that changed everything. A faint, nearly hidden, yet unmistakable chemical signature, dimethyl sulfide. On Earth, this molecule is produced by only one thing, living organisms. Tiny, unseen phytoplankton drifting in our oceans. Invisible to the naked eye, but vital to the survival of life. This is not myth. This is not speculation. This is not fantasy. This is data, cold, precise, undeniable scientific data. And it may mark the moment when the curtain of silence finally began to lift. The moment humanity took its first true glimpse at life beyond Earth. What is K218b? K218b is not simply another number in an astronomer's catalog. It is not a lifeless rock like Mercury. It is not a frozen wasteland like Pluto. It is something far more rare. K218b belongs to a unique class of planets called Hycian worlds. Planets wrapped in thick hydrogen-rich atmospheres. Planets that conceal beneath their skies vast, endless oceans. Oceans where the chemistry of life may already be unfolding. This planet is immense. Over 2.6 times larger than Earth. Nearly 9 times more massive. Its gravity stronger, its atmosphere denser, its oceans deeper and broader than any on Earth. And yet, despite its alien scale, K218b rests in a remarkable location, the habitable zone of its star. That delicate region where water can remain liquid. Where temperatures are neither too hot nor too cold. Where the spark of life is most likely to ignite. Unlike Mars, whose deserts are barren and dry. 
unlike Jupiter, whose storms rage with endless violence. K218b is shielded by a dense hydrogen blanket. A shield that locks in warmth. A shield that stabilizes its global ocean. A shield that protects against deadly radiation from the cosmos. In many ways, K218b mirrors our own planet's earliest chapter. Billions of years ago, Earth itself was a water world. Its atmosphere raw, unstable, and new. Its oceans alive with the first fragile sparks of biology. Now, on K218b, history may be repeating itself. Not here. Not within our solar system. But 120 light years away, across the whisper of life and humanity's choice. When the James Webb Space Telescope turned its powerful gaze toward K218b, the discoveries astonished the world. Molecules vital to chemistry, and perhaps to biology itself, were present. Water vapor. Methane. Carbon dioxide. Then, in 2025, Webb's mid-infrared instrument, MIRI, delivered its most extraordinary result. Among the gases appeared faint but unmistakable signs of dimethyl sulfide, DMS, and dimethyl disulfide, DMDS. On Earth, both are created by microscopic organisms in our oceans. The chance of finding them together by accident is nearly zero. For the first time in history, humanity was no longer staring at a planet that might host life. We were looking at one showing evidence that it already does. Astrophysicist Niku Madhusudan called it a watershed moment. The search for life had shifted, from speculation to evidence, from hope to data. What kind of life could survive there? Some imagine vast alien oceans filled with microbial life. Tiny organisms drifting endlessly in hydrogen-rich seas. Ancient, fragile, yet alive. Others envision something more complex. Filter-feeding creatures gliding gracefully through deep waters. Beings adapted to low gravity and immense pressure. Life forms unlike anything Earth has ever known. Perhaps K218b is not simply inhabited. Perhaps it is evolving. The first awakening of an entirely new biosphere. Should humanity reach out? With discovery comes debate. Should we attempt contact? Some warn of danger. What if we disturb a fragile ecosystem? What if we alert a civilization we are not prepared to face? Others argue the opposite. If intelligent life exists on K218b, it may already know of us. Our radio signals have leaked into the cosmos for decades. If they wished to respond, they could have already done so. But a sobering truth remains. Any message we send would take 120 years to arrive. And another 120 years for a reply. A single conversation would span centuries. So the question is not can we speak, but should we? The world reacts when Webb's findings were revealed, Earth responded as one. Headlines blazed across every continent. Social media erupted in excitement. Hashtag K218B Hashtag Alien Ocean Hashtag We Are Not Alone For once, humanity's focus shifted away from conflict and division. Toward a single, unifying question. Did we just find life? Space agencies rushed to plan new missions. Universities filled with eager students. And for the first time in generations, humanity felt connected. Not just to each other, but to the cosmos itself. The deeper question, yet beneath the excitement lingers a darker thought. If life exists on K218b, why is the universe still so silent? This is the Fermi paradox. Thousands of planets discovered. Dozens inside habitable zones. Now one with evidence of life. So where is everyone else? 
Perhaps civilizations rise and fall before they reach the stars. Perhaps the leap from simple microbes to intelligence is perilous. Or perhaps life is abundant, but chooses silence. If K218B holds only microbes, it is one thing. But if it harbors complexity, or even intelligence, then perhaps the silence itself is the message. Conclusion K218B forces us to rethink not only astronomy, but biology itself. On Earth, life thrives on oxygen, nitrogen, and carbon. But on K218B, it may breathe hydrogen. It may photosynthesize beneath the light of a dim red sun. It may evolve along paths we cannot yet imagine. Before K218b, we looked at the stars with curiosity. After K218b, we must look with responsibility. For if life exists elsewhere, Earth is not the exception. We are simply one chapter in a far greater cosmic story. The James Webb Space Telescope did not announce this discovery with a shout. It whispered. Quiet. Undeniable. Profound. A reminder that the universe is not empty. It is alive. It is breathing. It is becoming. And now humanity must decide. Not whether we are alone but how we will live in a universe where we are not.